Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Flix on WatsMojo.com. Today we're gonna see about the top 10 worst things Maggie Simpson has ever done. That's right, this is a top 10 list of the baby of the Simpsons family. Those freaks have no feelings. Even baby never cry. She's a freak! <laughs> what baby does that? Look at that. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst things Maggie Simpson has ever done. Silence! Oh, damn. For this list, we'll be looking at the most disturbing antics of the youngest and most mysterious Simpson. These moments may most have carried unexpected negative mean? consequences or revealed the crafty baby's dark side. One of these contains a 27-year-old spoiler. So consider this your spoiler alert. What do you think are the best moments of Maggie at her worst? Let us know in the comments. Hmm. Number 10. Shot Homer with a nail gun. Ow. A door-to-door -door baby proofer that arouses awesome. Homer and Marge's paranoia about Maggie's safety, but they can't afford her services. Homer takes it upon himself to baby proof the house, even though he's far from qualified. He even hands Maggie a nail gun when he was using it to attach cushions around the living room. Here. Oh, no. <laughs> Ow! Oh, Ow! my... Yeah! That's oh. kind of hot. Okay, Maggie. But the nail gun doesn't go. walk like that. Ow! This actually turns out to be more dangerous for him. Maggie seems to just be playing around as she innocently pins her father to the wall no, nail with gun nails. Has to have press no! On the tip. no, no, no! Go home, me. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's now do you realize how unsafe the American home is? Homer remains dedicated to protecting his daughter. Of course, maybe he's the one who needs protection oh, from her. Oh, that feels right through his Number hand. Number nine. Ow. Freaked over losing her pacifier. It's time to deal with Maggie's pacifier problem after Marge reads a questionable article linking so-called suckaholism to long-term achievement. <gasps> is your baby a suckaholic? Experts what does that see mean? new links between pacifier overuse and <gasps> low achievement. Immediately oh, after Marge on. throws away her baby's most prized possession, things get crazy. Maggie wreaks total havoc around the house, not Wait, even crying me. like a normal baby until Homer comes home with inadequate replacement pacifiers. I couldn't find Maggie's brand, but I got every other kind I could find. How about Cinto Nip? Yeah. This rampage goes to show just how extreme the already chaotic Maggie can go without her iconic vice. Luckily, Santa's little helper's chew toy is able to save the day. The night, on the other hand, is filled with another nuisance in the chew toy's incessant squeaking. Oh, stupid baby. Oh, damn it, Ad. Come on. Back to it. Growing her brain on my dime. Number eight, embraced the Flanders over the Simpsons. When child what? welfare misinterprets the Simpsons' living conditions, they place the kids in foster care with none other oh, than the terrible. Flanders. Haley Ho, welcome to your new home, Neglectorinos. Where Bart and what Lisa are hell? unable to fit into this wholesome household, Maggie quickly bonds with Ned. She receives more attention from him than from Homer and even picks up some Flanderisms. Daddy, daddy. Hey. Hey. Luckily, Maggie's attachment to her mother snaps her out of it before she can be baptized by Ned. Maggie's initial rejection of her own father was nonetheless pretty harsh and almost led to the family spiritually splitting. Still, you can't blame her too much Damn. for seeing the appeal in the more functional family next door. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, huh. but now I see. Number seven. Okay, that's almost digested the family. Jealous of Maggie getting all the attention after her IQ was declared higher than hers, Lisa ran away to live at the Natural History Museum. I don't think you're legally allowed to do that. I'll never run into my family here. It's the perfect place to start a new life. When her family came looking like for her, five. Maggie started playing well, with eight. the colorful control console for a giant replica of the human digestive system. She accidentally causes it to swallow her family and then releases fake stomach acid. The Simpsons would have drowned had Lisa not arrived to guide Maggie into releasing them. 
This reasserted her sisterly bond, but threw the baby's genius into question. If nothing else, it showed that Maggie can be a menace even when she's not trying to be. Hmm. Maybe she's safer when she is in control of her havoc. I'm sorry I ran yeah, off. Maybe. Being second to Maggie's not so bad. But why didn't Maggie press the right button until I told her to? Number six, feuded with Homer Jr. Oh, After yeah. After Homer delivers right. a single mother's baby, he becomes attached to Homer Jr. Or Hoju. Where's Hoju? Where's Hoju? <laughs> ah, where's Hoju? Oh, Marge yeah. allows him to I go on with this. his double life on the condition that Homer <laughs> also spend time with his own children. Needless to say, Maggie gets very jealous of another baby being in the picture and starts a feud with Hoju. Their fight at a zoo I mean, actually ends up holding more consequences kid. for Maggie. Dad, Maggie's rolling away! <gasps> She's heading for Prairie Dog Village! Obviously, oh, no. Hoju is in the wrong for putting Maggie's life in danger by pushing her stroller toward Prairie Dog Village. But Maggie's I own reckless behavior marked the beginning of the end for Homer's relationship with Oof. the also Man, mischievous Homer close. Jr. This is the last time you'll see that elevator baby! I'm sorry, Homer Jr. Number five, oh, man. turn the town into pacifiers. Oh, yeah. I've grown a costume <laughs> on your face Could finds you really all of Springfield that, gathering for a Halloween costume party outside of City Hall. Oh, everyone's wearing such an interesting costume. Look, Grandpa's a gorilla. Sideshow Mel is Spider-Man. The festivities are spoiled <laughs> by a vengeful witch who transforms the whole town into their costumes. Uh -oh. I'm turning you into your costumes. Well, are you going to talk about it or are you going to do it? Maggie's witch outfit and luckily so presents an boom. opportunity to reverse the curse. That's the answer. Maggie's a real witch now. She can reverse the spell. Unfortunately, instead of turning the citizens of Springfield and back nope. to normal, Pacifies. she just turns them into pacifiers. This treehouse well, of horror story is obviously sucked. not canon. Of course, the gag stays true to Maggie's <laughs> dangerously playful spirit and pacifier fixation. Oh well, this still beats being Mo. Imagine what tricks she could get up to if she really had magical powers. Now Number that would four, be crazy. shot at Fat Tony's crew. Homer's private law enforcement company busts one of Fat Tony's rackets, but it's not long before the mobster is bailed out and vows revenge. I wish to well, announce that my shit. associates and I will but of course that was going to happen if he has not left town by noon tomorrow. <gasps> Rather than leave town, Homer is willing to face his comeuppance for actually serving the community for a change. Just then, Fat Tony's crew are spooked off the Simpson property by a mystery sniper, who turns out to be Maggie. Oh, shit. Huh? Damn. Huh? He's got back up. Somebody does care. This time, <laughs> one of her acts of violence saved Homer from bodily harm. Still, good job, a Maggie. baby with a rifle is never really a good thing. We must have a guardian angel with a rifle. Time to check in on our little sweetie pie. Maggie's just... Hold on, folks. Be right back. Sorry about that. We're back. Suspiciously skilled marksmanship and wink at the end of the episode suggests that she is much harsher in her vigilanteism than her dad. Number three, kill Jerry Springer as an alien. In the Ooh, treehouse yeah. of horror classic Starship Poopers, Maggie goes through a very bizarre growth spurt. <laughs> When it is revealed that That's her real thing. father is the hideous extraterrestrial Kang, Bart makes a radical suggestion to decide Maggie's rightful parentage. By the end of their appearance on The Jerry Springer Show, Kang oh, has wiped damn. out the studio audience. But it's Maggie who takes out the host, or at least six her two dads on him. Oh, what the f Get the f baby off! Damn! Son of a... This non-colonical bloodbath was a uniquely, hilariously <laughs> shocking moment, even by Simpsons Halloween standards. The half regalian Maggie's hostility is also a staple of the Treehouse of Horror brand. Man. Human Maggie has Man. thankfully never gone that hard, but with her dark enough nature, is the idea really so alien? Number two, beat Homer with a mallet. Mimicking an episode of the violent Itchy and Scratchy show, Maggie followed Homer into the basement and beat him with a mallet. You do have to teach kids the difference between a TV show and reality. Oh, 
that's a waste of paint. She later tried to finish the job with a pencil. This disturbing incident inspired Marge to campaign for the end of violent cartoons. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to write a letter. Okay. Dear purveyors of senseless violence. From the mind of course, of Itchy and Scratchy <laughs> might not entirely yeah, okay. be to blame. The attack was a blatant parody of Psycho, after all. Maggie has since made a habit of mistreating her father and subjecting him to cartoon violence of their own. Bad media influences notwithstanding, raising Maggie can indeed be a real pain. Oh, classic. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the That's bell to get notified about scene. our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Shot Mr. Burns After that The Simpsons accident, Season though. 6 ended on a cliffhanger, the world wanted to know who shot Mr. Burns. I don't think we'll ever know who did this. Everyone in town's a suspect. The two-parter concluded with Mr. Burns emerging from a coma to reveal that when he literally tried to steal candy from a baby, his handgun fell into her hands and went off. The so twist polarized really, audiences, but has become as big of a pop culture phenomenon as the initial mystery. The Arguably, no accident. The incident also marked a turning point in Maggie's characterization from baby genius to troubled soul. The one who shot me was... Ha, 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 Maggie Simpson. It wasn't really? even the last time she pulled a gun on Mr. Burns. Sure, nobody likes hmm. the rich old wretch, oh, yeah. but if Maggie really is guilty of attempted murder, there's Seriously, no telling though, what she's capable of. Fell. She didn't mean it. Yeah. Well, hold on. I think the rest of this is just gonna be eh, actually we're nearly done. Better keep going. But sis, you are going to blame the gun going off on her? This fell into her hat. Come on. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure. Well, whatever. Well, that's where we're going to end up today's video. I want you all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video. So remember to support the original creators and all they do. And I'll see you all you folks next time when we flick on. Peace out.